This week I knew I had to do a bit of planting and I've been putting it off for a while. So I woke up and I decided that was it. I needed to plant two of these plants that I had waiting for me. The first was the climbing rose. Um, I just want to make a little arc over the two pillars and have the rose climbing over. Masi always comes to the rescue, especially when I need to dig a big hole. <laughs> and he always moans that I don't dig deep enough, so I just let him get on with it. And he did a pretty good job. This little area is the part that you see as soon as you walk in and I started off a couple of years just planting a few cactus plants but I'm actually getting tired of them now so I'm slowly moving them along somewhere else and I planted some lavender and it's really taken on very well so I want to continue with that and maybe just do some more um, ornamental grass just on the edges um, but we'll see what happens. Well, the second plant is the uh, jasmine that a good friend of mine gave me a couple of months ago and has been sitting like the climbing rose in a pot. So I think it's time now um, to plant it and we decided to put it next to the new wall that Masi built not so long ago and that will look really nice once it gets going because Jasmine just loves to grow long things so that will look really pretty as soon as that takes off. some of her stuff and she's got loads of clothes and it's nothing I can do with them so I am taking them to these boxes in Siragusa to recycle. What have you seen Mas? They put cameras up I hope, it works, but I don't see them. Yeah, well they might be putting them up, that's good. Yeah, sorry, because we live in the countryside and unfortunately a lot of people like to dump their rubbish in the road. Don't ask me why. That's one of the um, main, reason, main problems main, with Siracusa. What's the main reason, Mas? The main reason because the road is not very traffic. There's not a lot of traffic on the road. So people find the occasion to drive by, park their car and just offload their rubbish. Yeah, but why don't they recycle this stuff? This they don't recycle it because they don't want to pay for the taxes that you need to pay for, for the oh. recycling. So basically, it's yeah their way of saving money which is not a good way because you're just damaging the ecosystem. So these are the little boxes to recycle. So this is the beauty about living in Sicily. We were moaning before about the rubbish on the road and we came to Siracusa to recycle our secondhand clothes and you can just stop and marvel at history everywhere. So that's a good point about living in Siracusa. Um, anywhere you go in the city, it's quite a big city, there's lots of ancient artifacts, ancient ruins, caves, Behind us, as you can see, this is the catacombs. Look so at it's that the, church, the church of the catacombs, which goes on quite long, goes all the way up to the top. Um, yeah, and we will show you all the rest of that in a minute. This 
This is the Basilica of San Giovanni Evangelista and it was built in the 6th century by the Byzantines on a crypt, which is a burial place. It dates back to the 1st century AD. The catacombs, which are underground cemeteries, were built here probably because it was the burial place of Saint Marziano, who was the first bishop of Siracusa. The church was composed of the naves, with 12 Doric columns, six on each side, which symbolized the number of apostles. But now, all that remains are just a few remnants of the columns in the nave. It was damaged during the invasion of the Arabs and in the 12th century it was rebuilt by the Normans who reused the materials of the temple of Demetra and Kor, of which no trace remains today. The catacombs are open every day in summer and in winter they are closed on Mondays. Tickets cost around 10 euros per person. I will be coming back in summer and I will be doing a visit myself down in the catacombs and I will be filming it. So I will be showing you this in a couple of months time. On our way home, we decided to take the uh, panoramic road, which is a winding road right from the top, overlooking the Greek theater and the sea. And it takes you all the way down towards the bottom. But the views were spectacular. Incredible, hey, Mark? Yeah. Amazing. And here you can see everything. I know. We're up high here. Basically, this is one of the highest parts of Sicily. Yeah. You can see the whole bay. You can see the sanctuary. Yeah, so this is just the beauty of Sicily, is that you get in the car and you go, and you always find something to see. You always see beautiful architecture, history. Nothing is boring and nothing is uh, the same. So driving down this beautiful panoramic uh, road, on the left, we could see part of the Greek theatre and some tourists that were there looking around. And it is so beautiful to look at. Driving down the beautiful panoramica, I happened to see an aqueduct. And I knew straight away that it was the Galermi aqueduct. I've been trying to find this aqueduct for a while. And I was really happy when I saw it. In fact, I asked Masi to stop and let me out so I could just walk along and see where it led. I followed it all the way and it took me to a beautiful place, which I'll show you in a minute. Look at 
Look at the papyrus. I didn't know it was in the city. You learn something every day. Crazy. Loads of it. got like a main road on top. We found a beautiful place. Didn't even know it existed. Grazie. prodotto che vedi proprio da pantano e l'hai sfruttato quell'acqua per creare questi sì, ambienti quanti sono demanano per creare questa allora Maria fantastico queste, eh, ho, sente, ho sentito questo signore qua ha acquistato questo terreno, eh, terreno dal 2003 mi hai detto 2003, e lui ha creato questo alleva, cioè, allevamento questo zoo piccolo zoo che fantastico lei tutti, come si chiama? è l'unico mi chiamo Angelo Mortella piacere è l'unico privato dove cresce il papiro nel wow. 2003 ho iniziato a creare questa piantagione nel 2003 ha iniziato a creare questo, questa, questa piantagione è bellissimo complimenti Grazie. allora ora io vi lascio tranquilli sì sì, sì. sì. Oh, look! I saw one yeah, a moment ago. Wow, look at that. So beautiful. This is beautiful to have like some sort of a summer get together. Where do you reckon he got all these stones? Were they here before? Exactly. We need to ask him. Aqueduct. Aqueduct. Keep on getting it wrong. Goes through. Yeah. Beautiful. So we just happened to find this wonderful place thanks to the aqueduct as I was saying earlier on that we followed coming down from the Greek theatre. This place is called the Papyrus Corner, L'Angolo del Papiro. It's full of tropical plants and exotic animals. It is full of papyrus plants that occupy two of the 13 hectares of this oasis. The owner is Angelo Mortellaro who bought this abandoned land in 2003. And they destroyed our olive uh, tree. They're lovely, but they're noisy and destructive. <laughs> Little guinea pig. They're just one. He's cute. He completely transformed it into a papyrus sanctuary, and thanks obviously to the Galermi aqueduct that flows around and through it. Entry fee was only two euros per person. And in this two euros, you see obviously all the beautiful exotic animals, the plants, and you can also take a picnic and sit next to the papyrus and enjoy it. Angelo also gives you a brief demonstration on how papyrus paper is made and you can buy some wonderful papyrus objects in the little shop. Dagli la parte corticale. È una tradizione siracusana da ben 200 anni. Sì. Primo foglio di papiro è datato 5000 anni. 
per solo la parte interna la sì. parte interna viene sì. utilizzata per la sì. pubblicazione si andrà a tagliare a strisce questo è il coltello dei tartufo bravissimo sì. <ride> formaggio. sono scelto formaggio tartufo Il topino qua non c'era per vedere, vero? Cosa? Prima che lei è venuta qua non c'era nulla, era un appezzamento della era... era... sì. no. 12 ore in una soluzione formata da acqua e antiossidanti. Uh -huh. Trascorso le 12 ore prepariamo il foglio. Supporto rigido, vedete l'antiossidante ha lo scopo di far sì che questo non diventi nero. Ok. Ma ah, per questo mette, mette lo scopo. 12 ore in questo caso, sì, sì, sì. E dovrebbe rimanere bianco. Io lavoro sul 50x50, questa è una pressa dimostrativa. Ok. Ovviamente c'è una pressa un po' più. Sì, se qui adesso abbiamo messo dentro, ma in estate quando accogliamo i turisti poi vedono a me lavorare fuori, proprio alla pressa. Certo, certo. E questo va pressato per 12 ore? No, 12 ore fermentato. Ah, ah, okay. Dopo verticale e orizzontale. Non ha visto fatto. No. Non ha visto fare questo. Altro tessuto. Altro supporto rigido. 4 giorni al torchio 4 giorni e poi ogni giorno lo stringi ogni di più ogni 3 ore a si riapre e si cambiano i tessuti per farlo asciugare ah, per, ah, assorbire. per, per assorbire per assorbire l'acqua okay. okay. è un modo okay. per asciugarlo in maniera naturale certo. vedi che già qui si è bagnato dopo i 4 giorni ecco il prodotto prego sentiamo Questa è la carta che alla fine si ottiene. Wow! Ben diversi da questa che è la carta egiziana che troverete dappertutto. Oh yeah, è più morbido il suo. Sono due prodotti sì, differenti. È, sì, è proprio assolutamente diverso. Ma immagino sto qua da tre anni che viene maltrattato. Eh? Però la vedi che questo ha mm. più, diciamo, è più compatto di questo, per questo è, è sono, più non, si rompe. Ma a me non siamo sicuri anche che sia solo papiro, probabilmente ah. mm. mischiano wow. papiro e banana. Bellissimo. Eh. Qui siamo nel 2003 quando iniziate i lavori di piantumazione. Qua sono le prime ceppacce che ho messo, qui dove hai visto le carpe. Sì, 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 tu c'è le carpe. Ma questo è tutto il prato, prima non c'è neanche prato. Lo... Incredibile. Cioè, non avevi niente. Zero. Avevi niente tutto il terreno. Molto alto, però le fondo di tutto. E quanto terreno? 13.000 metri quadrati.
Mas back in the garden. Mas is still trying to build his aviary slowly. And um, I'm giving him a hand when I can. And I'm also trying to uh, sort out my veggie patch. Thank you for watching our video. As you can see, we have a very simple and